Went back to the Jackson Moore Cemetery. What's going on here? A lot of stuff. So guys, I came back to the cemetery on Saturday because they said it was opened at 9 a.m. The community garden, but hmm, they do not have it opened. See, I got mandarin orange for them. So I just wanted to give it to them. While I'm here, even though it's not open, I don't know when they open it, so, you know, sorry guys, I'm gonna put it on the, over here, for you guys. I'll put it on the rock over there. Maybe some over here too. I put some here too. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so the volunteer was late, but he did open the gate on the other side. So, yeah. This is the Jackson Moore Cemetery. All the history I told you on them. They're, um, they're even associated with the Townsends. And remember we did the whole Townsend history um, from Raymond Hall. So, yeah, I don't know if these markers are just to mark off where the cemetery is, I'm guessing. But they have, like, little markers there, which I didn't see behind there. So, like, somebody might be there. Someone might be there where the rocks are. I don't know. There, I would say. Maybe the markers are. I don't know. Like, they planted the little flowers, but I don't know if... You know, look at this beautiful one. You can't see who's, of course, they are. This is like a half tombstone. There's absolutely no writing, but but they planted beautiful flowers for you guys. I love the purple ones. Look at the little solar lights. Look at these little white flowers just popping up. And it goes pretty far back, like, you have this one, that's Samuel, hi Samuel, and then, I'm sure maybe there was, I don't know, maybe there wasn't a grave in here, or there was, they don't know, but I'm assuming it ends where they buried it off the cemetery. Um, there was definitely maybe something here. I don't know if it was a gravestone or just like a one of those circle stones. But they don't move anything, so I'm assuming it might be part of a of a tombstone. And some of them may be just rocks. Yeah, but there's no writing. I mean, they don't even take the vines off, which they should, because otherwise I might pull down the stone. Um, so, another one here. So, all in all, we're going to count. You can't, I mean, I'm in your way, but there's no writing. No, no writing for them. See? Oh. And they were short, huh? This one, someone tried to write something. 1967. I didn't know. Could be two people buried here, husband and wife. back here um, 
This one says 1779. Or, yeah, 1779. Because I think they said 1773 was the... So that's probably a 9 that, because it's broken, came off. I don't know. And I don't know if the rocks are like someone's... If, like, this is a tombstone or just a rock they put, like, you know, like, they didn't make it, like, very noticeable. Um, like, because they got rocks all over. But, um, so by my count, then, if we're just counting actual tombstones that kind of are marked one two three four because they put something there so i'm going to say four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen yeah so my count was about right on about twenty like markers so that's a big difference from the 50 even 46 or whatever they say is here so unless you know like I said there could be a husband and wife in that one so if they buried two per I don't think so but anywho you have a beautiful resting spot um, like I said, I don't know who's still buried here because they moved some people. But, you know, you have Samuel. You have Augustine. Uh, probably David. Augustine's two brothers, right? Uh, there's David. I think Samuel's actually his other brother. You have Deborah, her husband, and two kids. So, I don't know that they moved them. We don't know. But anyway, thank you for letting me visit with you. I kept seeing movement over here, so I zoomed in and slowed it down for you. I did put, like, the mandarin orange over there, guys, before they opened. I didn't know that they would be... That they would open. So, you see my orange down there? <laughs> and somewhere over there, I put it too. Oh, over there. But yeah. This one, it's right near the fence, which also you cannot see any writing. So, um, like I said, I don't know if this marks one. I know that must mark something. <laughs> Maybe the trees and this, like they put it because the tombstone was just so decrepit. Like... This might have been part of the tombstone, and that's why they, I don't know. So basically, guys, I put the voice recorder there. So if anybody could speak into the recorder. And I should say the microphone. So you would speak right over here, and maybe we'd hear you. Um, there's a lot of noise, though, guys, so I don't know. It's still like 40 degrees in New York, so we shouldn't kind of see bugs. I don't know what this is. I don't know if we'll be able to hear anything, but... It was super peaceful. If you want to, you could also talk into this phone, microphone. I'm holding it, but you could talk there. You could, of course, talk to me. Guys, these are not living people. You let me know what you think of this down in the comments below.
And whatever this anomaly was isn't here anymore, so I don't know. And you could, of course, show yourself on the camera. I'm just facing straight from where I'm holding it. Do you like oranges? A lot of birds. It's super pretty. It's kind of hot. It's probably going to be 58 today, so it's not bad. And the sun here, it's gorgeous. They really do have a gorgeous spot. Actually, I wouldn't mind be, be, being buried here with them. <laughs> yeah. Um... But, I appreciate you guys talking with me and letting me look at your gravestones and your headstones and whoever's headstones are not here, rest in peace. If you guys want to cross over, and you're good, of course, you know, the little ones will tell you when, how, when, how to find us, obviously, <laughs> but I don't mind doing that. You're more than welcome to come home with us. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Small and cute and peaceful. They get to watch the people go by. They get to and all the pretty flowers they put pretty flowers there um the birds the squirrels play probably when these trees um get the leaves on them probably be gorgeous i think from a picture i saw they're like maybe they have pink leaves on them so should be real pretty um yeah i don't know that tree stuff had, hmm, I don't know, the, they lined the, the stones up pretty well, so I would say, like, probably there's a, there was another one right there, you know, because I think they kind of did it, like, so it was in a line, as you see, so I'm gonna say, yeah, the only problem is, since they moved it, the stones so that they can like raise the ground or whatever <laughs> um i don't know if they put them back exactly who knows you know city workers are funny that way this to me looks like a man holding a baby these things haven't moved the whole time i've been sitting here and i've been filming this whole time i haven't cut anything that's probably what broke most of the stones too which is a shame um, but yeah. All right, guys. That's it for me. I don't know. I saw something weird on the camera. This is what I saw on the camera. Another weird anomaly. I slowed it down and brightened it up and zoomed in. And it goes right past the man with the baby. I don't know. So strange what's going on here. Leave a comment down below. What do you think it could be? I don't know, guys. Can you show yourself on the camera? Like, hmm. I'm facing where the circle is, so you could go into line of site anyway yeah but i'm going to head out of here they're probably sick of seeing me they already talked to me <laughs> twice <laughs> um but like i said i'm normally have to stay off from crossovers but i have to do a crossover for someone else asked me um they have about 400 spirits a spirit asked me to cross over 400 spirits for them um, so, 
I said sure. So I do have a crossover today, so I could ask that person, like maybe right after. Like I said, there's only about 50 here. We can do 500. Okay, I think we get an orb, and there's still that weird anomaly on the tree. So it's not a problem to do these right after. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants to cross, you know. It's hard for me to see the camera because of the sun, so I don't know we'll review it when we get home. But so thanks guys for watching. Oh, and we'll have to do the... I didn't do spirit box, I mean because the you know, people are here. Um, and it's kind of noisy anyway, but I did put the recorder on. Recorded like six minutes, so I guess... If anybody wanted to talk, they could have talked into there and we could see what we get um, there. So that'd be good. Maybe we got something. Somebody's playing like a recorder or something. Probably one of the kids. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Do you like oranges? Super pretty. It's kind of hot. It's probably going to be 58 today, so it's not bad. And the sun here is gorgeous. They really do have a gorgeous spot. Actually, I wouldn't mind it being very dear with them. <laughs> yeah. But, I appreciate you guys talking with me and letting me look at your gravestones and your headstones and whoever's headstones are not here, rest in peace. If you guys come across over, then you're good, of course, you know, the little ones will tell you when, how, when, how to find this, obviously, <laughs> but I don't mind it. You're more than welcome to come here. So yeah, guys, that's about it. It's small and cute and peaceful. So I didn't have a crossover today, so I could ask that person, like maybe right after. Like I said, there's only about 50 here, we can do 500, so it's not a problem to do these right after. Um, so yeah, and it's kind of noisy and anyway, but I did put the recorder on. Recorded like six minutes, so I guess.